Farmer Dre back at it. I am out here in the apple orchard. And for us to be able to prune all these apples, we go through a wide variety of pruners. And today I'm gonna be rating the best pruners that you can possibly buy in this world. And what are the junk ones and what are the good ones? So let's get to it. We've been farming fruit trees for uh, about eight years now. We're going in our eighth season. We bought the orchard in 2013. 2014 was our first year ever harvesting fruit and selling fruit. So ever since 2013 to 2014, we started pruning trees here on the farm. And we had no prior experience to any fruit production, any tree fruit production, any berry production of that matter, no, none whatsoever. So we've just learned over the years what are the best products. I mean, just like any, any other industry, the more you do it, the more you're gonna find out what works and what doesn't work, what is the best, what is not the best. And uh, you can see here, we have a wide variety of hand pruners or just loppers and pruners in general. And over the years, we've been um, trying to find out which one is the best one uh, for us, the, the workers out here working. And I'm gonna explain in today's video some of the biggest, most important things to look for when you are looking for a hand pruner for yourself, for your home garden, and what we look for as farmers. Before we get started, there's things to know about pruners in general, either loppers or hand pruners. Uh, the first thing I want to mention on is the different types of pruner. It doesn't matter which brand. This is one of the most important things you gotta look for. And the biggest thing is if it's a bypass pruner or an anvil pruner. So a bypass pruner, as you can say, see there, it bypasses the sharp edge and has to cross it. So let me go ahead and show you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this branch here. So you can see here, to it to finally cut everything, it has to bypass that sharp edge to kind of cut through there. And then the second type of pruner is the anvil pruner. And the anvil pruner cuts directly on the other metal there, as you can see there. So it cuts directly on it and the blade stops inside the metal, uh, the other metal part there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that again. It cuts directly on it. Alrighty, so as you can see here, we have a wide variety of pruners here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start off with these pruners right here. These pruners we bought a few years ago. We bought them from Lowe's. You can find the same brand at Walmart. And these are a bypass pruner. And I'll just be honest with you guys, I bought these and I went to go prune with them and they made my life miserable. So you know the truth about these pruners are? Go ahead and throw them away. So now that we got the trash out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the Hancock pruners. The Hancock pruners is a bypass pruners. Uh, we've had this pair since 2015. They're really good hand pruners. They've lasted us a very long time. Um, a lot of commercial farmers use this brand of hand pruners. Uh, the only thing I'll say about this hand pruner in particular, or this loppers, is after many years of using this style of pruner here, uh, the, the the blades start getting dull the arm here starts getting dull and after so many years of using them whenever you go to cut a branch especially a thinner branch it only cuts about 90 percent of the wood itself just because it, it kind of splits on the center and that cambium layer of the branch uh, remains uncut and it causes damage long term it opens up wounds where disease can enter into your your wood there and that's something you do not want like i mentioned really good but after a few years, you have to uh, place them out. Another thing I want to mention about these pruners is they really tried making this really light just for us farmers whenever we're working out here for eight, 10 hour days, our hands don't get tired. And you can see here, after many years of using these, these start bending. So this metal here starts bending after putting so much force into them. And that's just a, long, uh, just a longevity issue there. Uh, the next brand I want to move towards is the Falco. Falco pruners are known uh, Falco is known for the hand printers. That's the only thing they uh, do. They're really high quality made. They are a bypass printer here. This printer here is a very old school uh, style printer. It still works great. This is a newer hand printer. This is a, uh, the Falco 2. We use these on our farm for many, many years. And before we found out about the other uh, type of printers, this is the only type of printer that we used here on our farm. And if we would never have found out about the other pruners, we would still be using these to this day. Alrighty, and moving now to my favorite hand pruner is the low pruner. And these are an anvil pruner. We've had this pair 
of uh, hand printers here. We've had this for about three years now, and we absolutely love it. The way I found out about this hand printer here is we went to a trade show. The guy had a bunch of sticks on the table, had Falcos, had the Hancock, had these on there, and he was just trying to get people to realize how important the anvil pruners are and like i mentioned we've had this pruner here for a couple years and the nice thing about these anvil pruners after a few years of using them and working with them uh they even though the blade still gets dull it still makes a really really clean cut nothing hanging just because it cuts right down the center of those and absolutely love the low brand here and what's new to our farm i say new but it's these uh the hand uh, whoops the loppers here and these loppers are absolutely amazing uh they are an anvil printer there they uh absolutely cut amazing we got the the 20 inch pair here we got a, a 30 inch pair here absolutely love them uh even though the falco and the hancock are still a really good brand we ha don't hardly or never use these pruners we always use these low hand pruners here absolutely amazing they work awesome what can i say these are the best printers made on earth absolutely amazing love these things all right so i got the the falcos i got the low we're gonna do a little taste test here in the orchard i got a fancy branch here and i'm gonna show you guys the difference and i wish you guys had the ability to compare the two and how they feel but that's the biggest thing about us farmers we got to make sure we're able to work with these an entire day so i'm gonna go ahead and start off with the falcos here and cut this branch right here and you can see i'm applying a lot of force and i'm honestly a fairly big guy i'm six foot four i'm i'm fairly tall have a lot of muscle i hope but whenever you squeeze here you give a nice squeeze and it goes ahead and cuts here and i want to go ahead and zoom in right here as you can see it kind of tore up that cambium layer there uh the camera kind of does a, a bad job of focusing but the hand pruners the the, the falcos do a really good job i'm gonna go ahead and now and cut the same branch with the lows really easy kind of cuts like butter makes a really nice clean cut that's going to heal over no problem and like i mentioned whenever we came across these low hand pruners that's the only thing we use on our farm and they're just absolutely amazing we go real fast through here cut these up nicely with these lows and just go to town real fast nice clean cut here cut off the tips make sure the branches are have the, the buds have enough room and that's about it absolutely love these hand printers and these are the best hand printers and loppers on the market all right y'all so to conclude today's video i would highly recommend uh to anybody all these pruners the falco the hancock are great but over all these i would highly recommend these uh, uh amble pruners the lowe's brand all right y'all this is gonna be it for today rating the hand printers and uh, if you guys want the anvil hand pruners, go ahead and check out FarmerDreSupply.com. We were blessed the opportunity to start carrying these products on our website. Go ahead and check it out. I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. If you guys haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. Y'all have a good day. We will see you next time. Mm -hmm.